Hi, I'm Isaiah. Welcome to this Aphrodite Invocation Meditation. Let's begin. Make sure you will not be disturbed. You want to be safe enough in both the physical and spiritual realms to let go and immerse yourself completely in the experience. Make yourself comfortable. Sitting, lying down, preferably with your feet on the ground, uncrossing your arms and legs. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. Take the time to find the position that will allow your whole body and mind to relax. Start by inhaling deeply and slowly through your nose, bringing the air deep into your belly and letting it swell. Now, exhale through the mouth, slowly and deeply, letting the air flow and entering into relaxation. Breathe in. Imagine that the fresh air completely fills your body from the top of your head to your toes and to the tips of your fingers. And breathe out. Imagine letting go of everything you don't need, all the debris that clutters you. Breathe in through your nose. Fill your stomach and chest with air. Breathe out through your mouth. Pay attention to your legs and relax along your thighs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, toes. Breathe in slowly and deeply. Breathe out. Note your back, your neck, your spine. Let your back stretch and your shoulders drop. Relax your muscles, the weight goes off and your body softens. Breathe in through your nose, slowly and deeply. Breathe out through your mouth. Relax your bust, your chest, your stomach. Inhale, exhale and relax the muscles of your shoulders, your arms, your elbows, your wrists, your hands, your fingers. Breathe in through your nose, Breathe out through your mouth. Feel the relaxation in your head, your face, your forehead, your eyes, your nose, your cheeks, your jaw, your ears, your skull, your hair. Breathe in. The air completely renews you. All parts of your body are now filled with fresh and delicious energy. Breathe out. The air that comes out removes all the tensions, all the worries and all the unwanted thoughts. You now feel calm and relaxed, breathing slowly, breathing deeply, and with each breath you move further towards the calm center of yourself and deep relaxation settles throughout your body and mind. Welcome this well-being and relax even more. Visualize now roots growing below your feet and around your legs and also starting from your tailbone, beautiful, powerful roots that go deep into Mother Earth which allow you to feel grounded. They hold you in place and grow through the soil and the different layers of the earth and descend, descend, towards the center of the planet. They keep you firmly anchored, rooted and secure. Your roots continue to grow even deeper until finally reaching the heart of the planet. You know when you have reached the center of Gaia, of Mother Earth, because you feel bathed in a flow of unconditional love all the love that the earth has for you, this energy, this love that now comes back up through your roots and slowly rises to fill your whole being, your whole body. This warmth, this amber coppery colored light that is the earth's love for you now fills your body 
starting with the feet and working its way up your legs, your spine, through your arms to your hands, then moves up towards your head, completely encompassing every cell in your body. And you feel an immense sense of security, stability, of trust. You feel strong, loved, centered, full of a sense of belonging, because you know that you have your place here on this earth, in this universe. I invite you now to slowly awake in your mind, feeling the warm earth and soft grass beneath you. Even with your eyes closed, you see the brightness of the sun on a warm spring day. You stretch gently and sit up, opening your eyes. You find yourself in a forest clearing, surrounded by bright yellow buttercups. The flowers dot the hillside in a riot of color. You take in their beauty and smile. Rising to your feet, you feel your flowing white robe swish gently around your body. Your feet are bare, feeling the tickle of the grass as you reverently wind your way up the hill, gently brushing the flowers with each step. It is a gentle slope, so it is not long before you reach the crest. At the top, facing the sea that endlessly comes in and out underneath, beautifully glistening in the sunlight, is a white marble altar. It is in the shape of a huge scallop shell, irregular but smooth, softly lying on a bed of rose petals and laurel leaves. As you approach, you see the pattern in the marble more clearly. Purest white with thin cream, grey and black veins running throughout. The altar almost seems to glow and you feel power radiating from this place. You sink reverently to your knees before the altar and hold your hands up to your heart in invocation to the goddess. Closing your eyes, you whisper your invitation. O oh, radiant Aphrodite, goddess of love and pleasure, goddess of beauty and grace, goddess of desire and passion, I call to you, O oh, glorious Aphrodite, please speak to me and bless me with your presence. Eyes still closed, you feel a palpable shift in the air. It sends tingles across your skin, almost like a shiver, while simultaneously being the most pleasurable heat imaginable. You open your eyes and see Aphrodite in all of her resplendent glory across the altar from you. You see an all-encompassing warmth in her eyes and you feel like you could stare at her forever. Her hair cascades down her shoulders in loose curls. Her flowing white robe highlights her curves and you can see a dancer's grace in the way she holds herself. You hear a tinkling, almost of wine chimes, in her small laugh as she greets you. Welcome, my child. What has brought you here today? Her voice seems to come from all directions at once, powerful but not overwhelming, yet you hear it in the deepest parts of your being. She is all incarnate. She motions for you to stand, and you do so slowly, placing your hands on the altar to help yourself up. Her presence is intoxicating, 
and you feel a little dizzy just looking at her, though in the best possible way. Looking back up at her, you tell her why you have come. She tilts her head to the side slightly as she considers you. She looks you up and down, and you feel as if she is looking into your very soul. She pauses and stretches out her hand to you over the altar. You reach out slowly and grasp her hand. Her touch is electric. You hear her speak, and it is like a symphony of light. You hear the tones of all human experience between her words, the whispers of lovers, the laughter of friends, the passionate cries of ecstasy. You stand there for a while, taking it all in, and she takes the time to answer your questions. When you have finished your conversation, she takes both your hands in hers and very solemnly says, Dear child, I invite you now to carry more love in your heart and give it freely each and every day to each and every person you meet, to be a vessel for love on earth in every situation, in every circumstance, everywhere and any time. I grant you the lover's heart, a passion for life that never falters, a care for yourself and every other being that burns deep and strong, and I invite you to choose love, no matter what, at every second. She then squeezes your hands, and bids you to go. You know that you must, and you will take her message with you. You thank her for her guidance, and squeeze her hand in return. You find your eyelids growing heavy, and as you blink to keep them open, she vanishes into a mist of radiant golden light. You kneel once again at the altar, with your eyes closed and contemplate what Aphrodite has told you. When you are ready, you walk back down the hill and lie down once again in the field of buttercups. It is soon time to slowly and gradually return to your usual state of mindfulness and you gently feel drawn back to the here and now. As we bring this meditation to an end, take a deep breath and, when you feel ready, allow yourself to come back into the room, feel the texture of the clothes on your skin, the weight of your body on the chair or bed. Back in your space, you become aware of the sounds around you and you start to move your body. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch out if it's good for you. When you're inclined, you can open your eyes and smile, knowing that this is always available for you. That Aphrodite is always here for you and as you continue to practice this meditation, you will create and experience more and more love in your heart and in your life. As you come out of the meditation, be gentle with yourself. Take it slow. Give thanks to Aphrodite in your sacred space. Journal about what you saw and heard. Replenish your physical body with delicious healthy food and water. And most of all, 
take her message with you. When you do this invocation again, you may want to anoint yourself with rose essential oil or rose water, burn jasmine incense, hold a rose quartz crystal, or rest your head on a plush pillow. You will possibly experience changing in setting, dialogue and feeling, either conscious or unconscious. Try meeting Aphrodite at night, for instance, at different faces of the moon, in a forest, in a field of different flowers, on a beach, with a different type of altar. Try bringing an offering, ideally something that you have in the real world to physically offer to her when you finish the meditation. Offer her your love. Offer her your joy. Offer her your ecstasy. I thank you for listening and I hope you have enjoyed this meditation.